Hello YouTube. This is a quick tutorial on controlling BCV Rack 2 VST plugin using uh, Reasons Combinator. BCV Rack is amazing. You can do anything in it. Uh, but one of the things that I love using BCV Rack for is uh, for effects processing. Some of the modules that it has are uh, just really good, high quality uh, effect units, uh, emulations or otherwise. So here is a combinator with a BCV Rack 2 FX uh, plugin inside it. And for this simple demonstration, I have a very simple routing uh, of my DAW audio interface going into the plateau re reverb effect and going back out. So this is already enough to start using it as an effects processor. You can insert it on the channel, you can set it up as a send return, what have you. But what if you what if you want to change things like dry wet signal or diffusion um, things like this? Uh, you would have to open the VCV Rack plugin every time. Wouldn't it be much easier if they can be controlled using the knobs of, of the combinator? Well, it turns out that it's actually quite easy to do. Now, one one problem is that when you open the editor and try to configure this, right? For example, I want to add a dry, dry wet effect on control number one. You will see that there are no predefined controls. Everything is unassigned, everything is in groups because, because Reason doesn't know what you have in your ECV rack patch. So oh, it shows basically all of the available 1024 unassigned mappings that can be used but you don't know which one is which one is uh, dry which one is wet so one way to figure this out is to use the programmer learn function so if i click learn here i can tweak a knob on uh, any of the modules and you will see uh, it's um, well it's parameter name and then you can go ahead and assign it to a knob. And if I click it now, you can see that you can see that the wet parameter is being changed. Now, uh, this uh, this reverb unit has dry and wet signal uh, separate, so I would probably do the same thing for dry which is an unassigned number two i would create a new control on the same knob unassigned two and then i just reverse the reverse the polarity of the control and this way you can see that that the, with one knob i'm controlling now dry wet signal of the reverb unit uh, now you can remove this mappings you don't need them and you are ready to start using the the effect here i have a, already a version that i created for myself which i saved as a as a combinator patch and it is currently is connected to send return first channel and as you can see i have a eq on it i have some reverb characteristics i have some modulation i have a bypass switch and the output level so i can quickly show you what the patch looks like it has a tube saturation as an eq the reverb and also two lfos for controlling some parameters and it sounds a little something like this Let's let's put some reverb on this. Now I can change the parameters. And the beauty of this is that I don't need to look at my VCV rack patch. I don't need to 
zoom in and out, I can just control all of the parameters here. And some modulation, some drive. This reverb can sound really huge. for the bass. Actually we can add some reverb to the bass as well. Enjoy! <laughs> 